Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the second podcast and the latest Shiny podcast from uh, Rackan and Digital Rebar. Uh, with me, this is uh, Steven Spector, and with me today is Greg Althouse, who is a founder and CTO of uh, Rackan as well as Digital, Re- Digital Rebar. Greg, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Today, I thought we, we would talk a little about Terraform by HashiCorp. Can you kind of give us an overview of what Terraform is and what it does? Uh, Terraform is a tool, like you said, provided by HashiCorp that allows you to define a what they call as a plan that allows you to describe the machines and infrastructure that you want, and it will then execute that plan. And at the end, you have the infrastructure kind of the way you want it. Now, I use infrastructure to kind of loosely referred to as kind of anything that could be represented as a machine. This spans from bare metal all the way to cloud instances or even KVM instances, depending on what you uh, have access to. Now, Terraform is interesting in the sense that in general, it does, it has some basic functionality, but it's not necessarily complete. So what they've done, HashiCorp has written and describe a thing called plugins, or when you create a plugin, you provide a additional set of resources that Terraform can manage. And so a basic plan might be, go ask Amazon for a instance, configure the network, um, attach the instance, instances, instance to those networks, then boot the AMI, and then once that comes back, you have your SSH keys in place, and then you might do things like there's providers or resource managers for things like let me install a MySQL database and then install a web app. And then once all that's done, tell me it's done. And then I can then proceed as if I had just gotten my database installed. So that's kind of what Terraform is. And then through the provider plugins, vendors like Rackin can provide additional resources to manage. So that's kind of what Terraform is and how people use it. They use, on their website, they talk a lot about um, infrastructure as code. So is it okay if I look at this as kind of a chef puppet thing, or is there somehow different than that? It's similar. The idea there is like chef is trying to manipulate the nodes based on their cookbooks. In the case of Terraform, they're providing the framework, and depending on what plugins you choose to provide, you can have similar features. Now, I think chef provides a plugin that allows you to attach a node into Chef, for example. So you could do Terraform to create your instances, get them OS installed, updated, patched, and then potentially hand it off to Puppet or Chef or Ansible or all of these things. It's another form of orchestration, if you will. I think in, I don't know if we've talked about this in the past, but the idea is that digital rebar had a provision function, a control function, an orchestrate function. In some regards, this is kind of similar to the orchestration function that we did in Digital Rebar. And so it's a simplified form. It doesn't necessarily have complex orchestration operators, but it's enough if you just want to do a machine for a purpose. And so in some regards, it's simple, but it, it, it works. And so people seem to have embraced it because it allows them to take these plans as you, you know, and deal them with them as code. So I can check them into my source code system, I can version them, I can update them, and then pull them out, distribute them to my teams, and then use that to get a consistent kind of infrastructure. And so we talked about a little bit, you know, so you talked about Digital Rebar has a plugin. So let's talk about uh, you know, what Digital Rebar offers people that are using Terraform. What we've chosen to do is to provide, create a provider for digital rebar provision. And the idea there is Terraform classically hasn't done very well with bare metal. They required something to manage the bare metal or manage the system. So they work very well. They have default providers for Amazon and Google and VMware and those kind of things. And so they have the ability to go and say, give me an instance from that. What they haven't had is a very good implementation for bare metal. With the arrival of our digital rebar provision tool, which focuses just on bare metal provisioning, we are creating a Terraform provider 
when joined with some of the content modules that we're writing, or have written in this case, allows you to take a set of bare metal machines managed by digital rebar provision and make them available as creatable resources within Terraform. So that you can, in your plan, say, give me a machine or give me three machines or give me two machines that look like this or the filtering and the richness that comes with the Terraform provider model is mapped into the digital rebar provision set of machines so that you can then say, I want this, I want four machines and I want them to be installed with this OS. And then when that resource is returned, the nodes are in that state and ready to then continue through the rest of the process. So in some regards, it very much allows you to treat your bare metal nodes as if they were on-demand provisioned resources like you would with an Amazon. If you are a developer working with Terraform, you're interested in doing this uh, digital rebar provisioning on the bare metal, where should I go to get some more information or get the, the technology? All the normal channels. So how the connect to us on uh, email or through the, through the web or through our Slack channel, all of those are in our Gitter channel too, which all gets funneled into us. Talk to us at Rackin and we can set you up. Right now, since we're still kind of developing it, we're not necessarily putting it wide open for mass consumption yet. So we want to kind of talk with the people before they use it to make sure we're getting the use cases right. So, but talk to us. We're, we're ready to, to work with you to get that running. Yeah, so I see if you go to rebar.digital, there's a mailing list, live chats, a free note. I mean, every way possible as well as, you know, the social media channels as well. Well, right. I, pre I appreciate yep. you, Greg, uh, coming and talking a little about Terraform and how it works with digital rebar provisioning, especially, you know, for the bare metal stuff. So that makes great sense. If you're listening to this podcast and you're interested, like Greg said, you know, reach out to Rackin or Digital Rebar. There's plenty of social channels or just go to rebar.digital and from there you can find some information. Well, thanks again, uh, Greg, for talking to us today. Thanks for hosting us.